daughter of Amsoro Peshingwa Nedombo. I'm talking about the temptations of Jesus. So I'd like to do that better one line. Uh, the first temptation, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. I'd like to tackle this statement. May the good Lord bless you. Thank you so much. So Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 and I'll read. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Father, we thank you for such a time. Speak to us, instruct us, correct us, and empower us for the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Uh, I'll repeat again the scripture. Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 up to 4. So then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word. That comes from the mouth of God. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Shena Goto, you are welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wamugo, how are you doing? My brother, it's been a long time. May the good Lord bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in. The woman of God, Bevar Chaleka, thank you so much for tuning in. May the good Lord bless you. Pinda Petronella, how are you doing? May the good Lord bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in. The tempter or the devil came to tempt Jesus in the wilderness. Just after 40 days and 40 nights of fasting, Jesus was hungry. And the tempter came with something that sounds like he is a good man. No, to work out where I am here. The only check we eat, we go break at the fasting. Cannot we am here? The only check we eat, we eating. Cannot we make we check we go? In other words, when the devil wants to attack, ano tanga awo na the desperation and the need in somebody, so that you create a temptation that looks like something good. Whenever the devil wants to attack, he creates a temptation that looks like a breakthrough. In other words, I know we are breakdown. Yaka packets were a jacket that can break through. So it takes a spiritual maturity to know that this is a temptation. Although it sounds as if it's something good you have been waiting for. Remember, Jesus was angry. Jesus was angry in Zara after 40 days and 40 nights. Then the devil came to, to tempt him to strike. Ne a temptation. He recorded. Ne something that looks like a breakthrough. Imagine Unenzara and somebody, oh, yeah, name message, you're eating. Cannot, oh, yeah, name message, you're check with an Ezekuja. It sounds as if the devil, Anutanga, Garapas, Asat Aita strike. Anutanga, Atarisa, the need, Irimumun. Anutanga, Atarisa, the challenge, Irimumun. Over a quarter, a problem, it is connected, ne, ne, ne breakthrough. Yet, it's more, it, it break down. So the devil. He's so cunning to a level he does not strike as a tighter research. Jesus was angry. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus was angry. And the tempter came. So I, I, want, to, I want us to, to, to get this picture very well. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, the devil came. Wakaipa aruku ya kuzotemta, wakaipa aruku ya kuzostraika. Just after 40 days and 40 nights of fasting. To me, it's a picture kuti fasting pachayo. 
cannot chase the devil away. Because for 40 days and 40 nights of fasting, the devil was not supposed to come any near or any closer. But the devil came just after fasting. A complete 40 days, 40 nights, the devil came. And the pariku we are going to a temptation, and the temptation looks like it's a breakthrough, cannot it's a good thing. Imagine you are desperate for food, you are so hungry. Munukanain and Zara he respects any message in nature with any food. For example, can I munasinka shandi? I no respect every information in nature with any employment, can I no opportunity to make money. So the devil is an opportunist. So I know it a strike. Can I attend a ita research? If you padruke in the pakamira saying munwacho ari kudei. So your need is one of the ingredient. You know shandi squa na devil can I aku gadzira keke nonzi temptation. I no attend a ita research. Other side the need irima ari kuda kuenda. I can not padruke kuda kuenda pan in zara. I no vato ran zara iyo. Oi shandi says part of the plan. But in those strike I say can I munai in zara. Let me create a, a message in a check with any food. So the devil came. But as I attempt another to do, you could just watch an inzara. Saka pan inzara panu strike or panu roa ne message in nenge in a check with any eating. So the devil came and he said. If you are the son of God. Number one. Argu striker. Argu roller. By checking identity. Knowledge. Kutimono andru lagu dila nai. Anu mbozidiwa ire kutindiyani. So whenever the devil wants to attack. Anu tanga aita research. Concerning your knowledge. About your identity. <coughs> Sorry. So the devil will check. Your identity, knowledge, first. Kuziva, kutiwe uno ziziva ere kutumbo. If you are the son of God. Uka zitari sa Jesus asat aitabasa. He was baptized. Pa baptism. Munga arriva ka confema. This is my son. So Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. And a voice from heaven said. This is my son. Whom I. With him, I am well pleased. So, denga raka pupura. Jesu akajinzwa after baptism. Kuti uh, identity yake. Ineche kuita ne denga baba wati kudi. Denga rat, the voice from heaven said, This is my beloved son, whom I love. With him, I am well pleased. And the devil now wants to attack Arukuyachit if you are the son of God. If you are, if we are going to kana uri, the devil are going to test the temptation. It will take up identity crisis. You see, with in our times now, the challenge here today, we don't know our identity in Christ. We don't know our original identity in Him. Sister Bula Konde, you are welcome. Silechi, you are welcome. Bla Pimbas. Shua kwa zilamfumu. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Pastor Nira, thank you so much. Say thank you so much for tuning in. May the good Lord increase you. Thank you so much. Uh, so I, I, I want you to see here. The devil, cha ariku tanga aita, ariku cheka the knowledge behind identity. Why? Nobody does the same skill, the same strategy. Ya akash and some garden. Through the mouth of the snake, the devil got out a message. Kuna, kuna Eve. Kuti muno zwele, kuti muka jigamchero, muno kumunu fana na namwari. Mwari wari kuchikoti kana majiga mchero, muno fana na. Yet they were already created in the likeness and the image of God. But the devil pa haka uya chistrika with this uh, identity crisis thing. Haka to wana kuti mukazi ana that knowledge. Concerning their identity. Saka the devil pa haka uya haka totayo. Mwarivari kuchika kuchika na majika mutui. Muno fanana. Makata la boshi yata. 
So number one thing, Jagashan is quite as a weapon, as a tool by the devil. To check out the one who is not a man. Pane identity. Do pane foundation ye understanding yako. Do pane confidence zako. Do pane stability yako in the things of the kingdom. Kuziva kutumbore ani in the sight of God. Mumeswa Jehovah. No kuti pano Jesus achipeza kubabatizuwa. The heavens were opened, voice recorded, this is my beloved son. But the devil now is coming with just such a statement. Yakuti, if you are the son of God. Yakuti, ipapa, papa ne nyaya. Fasati payenda panunzi tell these stones to become bread. The miracle was not a big issue. But the identity crisis was the big issue. But the devil will not strike when you know yourself very well. Kutu bore animuna Christ. Like in, in these days, you, you find somebody are born again, but an identity crisis. When he approached the throne of God, whether in prayer, in worship, in any angle, we are not able prison. I know about the statement in a Roman centurion, I'm not worthy for you to come to my house to speak your word. Statement iro rangari valid pa mazwa iwa ipangua idzozo. Why? Because Jesus anga sata enda pa cross. Because by the reason of his blood, we have been washed. Tikapi wa ina identity. Vese waka muga muchira. Aka wapa simbari kunzi wabi wana mamari. So our identity ino chinja after the cross. Before the cross, atisi wethi. Why? Because Mara Chitarisa before the, the cross, Argutarisa is sinner. After the cross, Argutarisa Mwana Wake. So your approach now concerning your identity matters most. So the devil, Pawi Argut, if you are the Son of God. If you are the Son of God. Wakai Pase Arudashansa, this strategy, your identity. Argut in Dudaku Zivakuti Munzara Yawi Nayo. Do you still recognize your identity as a son or else the problem, you know, going to corrupt your mind? Because I've been in this challenge so much. So because of hunger, the devil, the devil, your identity will never change. Identity change you are broke. I love and respect Peter so much to an extent. You can see Acts chapter 3. Peter got his silver and gold I do not have, but such as I have in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Because Peter, Peter, the many, the beautiful get. One thing I'm conscious about is my identity or the presence of God in my life. Although I don't have silver and gold, but I know Christ is in me. Because Peter was aware, he was conscious of the presence of Jesus, despite but he was broke at that moment. But I could silver and gold and dinner. I could see Mara Pana, but I didn't know Ziva Chiripo, Chisinga, Begana, even Marie Kava is the presence of God in my life. So the devil now wants to take an opportunity. He could have to strike a common, a remote challenge, a Anenzara, Kutinzara, Imbo Fire, a corrupt your mindset. Because to get a book, you look 15, 17, which are not in a challenge, you are prodigal son. Prodigal son because of hunger. Aka buma kudakuluza identity. Not only prodigal son, but kaenda kuna uh, Isaac. Kukubana wa Isaac. Ishmael. Uh, Ishmael, uh, I mean kuku. Kaenda kuna Isaac. Ucha, ucha wana kuti. Pane nguwa ya kuti the brothers. Waka shika pa kuti let's exchange. Iwe undipe udangwe. Ini undipe che kujika. Udangwe wacho unondi batisirei. Uh, kana ini ndi nenzara udangwe unondi pay. It's good kuti ndingo luza udangwe wangu. Identity crisis. Iriku create kwa. Nekuda kwe hanga. Identity crisis. Yaka create kwa. Because of hanga. Identity crisis. Ino gona ku create kwa. Kana munari mo hanga. Kana asika mtukisi. So Jesu. Anenzara. He was angry. And the devil. Paruku ya pari. Aruku tikana. Uri mwana wa mngari. You, can you turn these stones into bread? But say aruku takumbu challenge identity. Because in Esau. The devil, akai wina. Why? Nekuti iso, adzo kakundo vima, asina kubata. 
Akati kuna Jacob. Zuno ndi batzirei. Kutindira mbendiri dangwe. It's better I lose my position. I lose my identity as the firstborn son. Ndiwane angu food. Pana prodiga usan the devil. Aka budiri la aka iwina. Because prodiga usan aina nzara. Akati I'm going back to the father. Ashika kuna baba nuku bati musandi tore semwa na wenu. Kurati hunger has reduced my mental Understanding my capacity to reason, my identity, I've lost it in anger. Saka akati baba msandi tore semungana, ni tore semuranda. He was so angry, he was so desperate for food to the level. Ye kuti, I will humble myself to a level. Ye kuti, I will lose sonship to gain bread. Yet cha achiri mystery iri yakavan zikai papa. When you are a son, automatically bread is yours by right. But if you become a servant, you work for bread. But if you are a son, Saka Papa, uchona pa the Lord's prayer, it's not a tipeo chingwa chedu, it's not a begging statement, kuku, kuti tipeo chingwa chedu cha nasi, kwa acknowledge, uticha nezuro takapiwa, because we are sons. So the devil, pa ariku striker now, ariku, if you are the son of God, say, ada kushanisa that term, ajizivaku ti jesu, ajipeza kubaba titu wana joani, this is my beloved son. Jesus is conscious of his identity. But the devil is taking chances. Why? Because Jesus is hungry now. For 40 days and 40 nights, because of hunger, sometimes identity is shaking. It's, a, it's happening in the church. It's happening in the body of Christ. It's happening to a lot of people. To a level where good when challenges come, the the. the they no longer understand and they no longer believe that they belong to God or they are the sons of God. I don't know whom I'm talking to. I've come to challenge you in understanding your identity. A challenge will not change you. You remain a son of God, although in a challenge. Dambu ziko arukite muranda, dambu ziko arukite muranda, rino kuita mwana wamari, arimu dambu ziko. So the devil is taking chances. Kutikana munu ye ane nzara. Atanya 40 days and 40 nights. Kini wani chandino ziziwa kana munu. Ane much problem. Anu kutadza kuwa understand the identity yake. Kana munu. Ari mu challenge for a long time. Anu kutadza kuwa understand. Kutu mwari achiri kundida. So sometimes even the love of God, you can still doubt it. Kutu mwari munu ta anu ndida ili ni. Namu ye say. Because dai mwari achi ndida ndi siri mdambu zikwe. Yet uno gona kutiwa. And you're not going to, to pass through a challenge, and yet God loves you so much. Makata bushala basada ka reda dasa kianda. Hear me, hear me very well, people. The devil parikut. If you are the son of God, if you are the son of God, it's a question in etiku tane identity. Say ada ku ishandi sa. He is using this to a angry man. Why? Because when people are in challenges, they doubt their sonship. They doubt their relationship with God. So, the first line, identity, check. If you are the son of God. Tell these stones to become bread. This is NIV, but King James, you know, turn these stones to become bread. This is to do with the miraculous power. Turn these stones to become bread. I want us to have a close look concerning this statement. Say, devil, Satan, nekui pako ke kwese. Ari kudakuti Jesu have any breakthrough in terms of kuti abba mu fasting ka. Aku introduce fasting. Ada kumpachi kafu. Ari kudakuti Jesu ha guti. Jino itere kuti the devil au yaku zoku ataka. Au yene breakthrough. Never. Which means there is a mystery behind this statement. Turn these stones to become bread. Let me explain. Jesus is the bread of life. Number one, he is the Number two, he is the stone or the rock. Alright, as a stone, you know, don't put a garage when you are because I'm sorry, we corner. I'm sure you understand this statement. From Genesis 11, when they were a tower of Babel, and instead of stone, they made bricks. And God came down and confused their language. Why? Because they have rejected the stone, and the stone represents Christ. So, he is the stone, he is also the bread. So, the devil is so calculative to 
level ye kuti anoziva kuti identity ye munhu kana kuti the revelation behind this person wanted to deal nai he is also the bread of life he is also the stone but on another dimension muwaki metu chapter 7 akangwara akavaka imba yake padombo dombo represents foundation waro malambo echinu foundation 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 kana kuti waro wechinonzi mu kristu i relationship na mwari mu kristu munhu ane relationship na mwari so dombo kana richi representa foundation riku representa relationship between men and god kuti riakabatanidzwa na jesu munhu kuti ave na ukama ave na ukama na mwari na baba bond yacho iri pana Christ Jesus and Jesus is the stone kureva kuti bond ye relationship ye munhu na mwari iri pana Jesu saka pano the devil paruti tell these stones to become bread without unzi ke answer ya Jesu ndo pane clue ne revelation yacho the answer of Jesus for four now Jesus answered it is written man does not live on bread alone but on every word that proceeds from the mouth of God man does not live on bread alone but by every way that comes from the mouth of God yes ari kuti munhu harara mene chingwa beds asine shoko rese by every way rinobuda mumuromo ma Jehova munhu harara mene chingwa beds asine shoko rese rinobuda mumuromo ma mwari Jesu ana kuramba na uye chingwa as a man you need to eat you need to feed but pano jesu ari kuti handi chochese chingarara mise munhu chingwa chaaro kuti ndi fightire kuti ndive nacho ndijwe munhu harara mene chingwa bedzi asine shoko rinobuda mumuromo ma Jehova okay pano ndo kuti ndi break a revelation but better step by step bega ndi tange concerning bread is the word Jesus is the bread of life and Jesus is also the word. Saka pano Jesu ari kuti munhu harara mene shoko chete bread tobvisa pano kuti bread not word because Jesus is the bread of life and Jesus is the word. So men shall not live on word alone shoko beds but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Ndo pane era mostly in the body of Christ. Why? Uvese vanopikisa vamwe vanotuka vamwe nekushora vamwe Vano vura Bible. Unotonzi kwachi ndi nandtenderere and tuke munhu ndi no vura scripture kana ndi chitaura munhu wese wane ndi chataka ndo vura scripture because ndiri based ne word. Yesu kana ati munhu harara mene chingwa beds asine shoko rinobuda. Rinobuda the word that proceeds. It's a continuous tense kuti shoko rinogara richibuda. Kuti ati mwari wedu ano ramba achitaura. Iri Bible Jimwari akataura revelation jimwari ari kutaura i will download it this way this is the bread inkutarwa na jesu kuti munhu harara mene chingwa bedzi that's why there is need for somebody to be anointed appointed and sent by god to minister the word why because iro pacharo chingwa but ichi chingwa chinde cha nezuro chingwa ichi ukasavane revelation achikugutse why saka chona kana bible ravhurwa tapedza kuverenga vanhu vanogara kuti taura i now kuti kuti paravhurwa rikaverengwa tine nzara toda kunzwa the mystery behind chino feed vanhu i revelation but revelation ino build wa kubva pa scripture kuti means scripture pachayo without revelation it's bread alone we need the word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Kureva kuti iri Bible ndi mwari akataura. But chinoti batsira today ndi mwari ari kutaura. Zvichibva papi we read the scripture and we begin to minister. Which is by ministering God is speaking. Men shall not live by bread alone. Bread represents the word. But the word is not enough when we don't have the revelation upon the word. I don't know if you can hear me very well people of God. Iri pacharo unogona kuti verenga ukato create a problem instead ya ku create a solution. 
I'll show you. I'll show you. Let me quickly. Ndidimbo jamba mchana. Ndidimbo nekuba tika pa statement and data. Ndidimbo jamba mchana. Tende pa. Ipapa ma temptations. All right. Uh, Matthew chapter 4. Verse 5. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, you will command these angels concerning you. Even the devil can quote scripture. That's why I'm not moved by any man who say, you need to know for a Bible, 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 but you need to know for a Bible, you need to know for a Bible, Kuvura Bible, usina kuvurika, uno create ma temptations, ma challenges, ma problems in the body of Christ. Many people without the grace or the gift of revelation, they are bringing in confusion in the body of Christ by the reason of opening scriptures while they are not opened by the Spirit of God to get the revelation upon the scripture. The word alone is bread alone. Men cannot live. Nekuvere uchiti, David, akawaraya goriat. That way, the rather personal, rather relevant in your life. I'll give you an example. In Soba Berekwe, you take a kura tichuudu wa. Kuzi mukashanya kumbakuwa na mukazi. Let's say maenda kuno tamba. Muga ukai zgua kuzi i kauchi ikuno. Kuzi kana wamaji zgua sad zavano kuye zavano kushe zavati. Yaujige. Unofanu wakuti kana waye zgua kuzi yaujige sad zavano. Unoti ndaka guta. Kweze ni kutu uninga waka guta. But uku personalize. Shokora wapi wakumba kwenye na amai wako. Why? No kutu ukanzu ya ujike sadza ni shamari yako. Ukatawura wachiti tanzi titi taka guta. Wanoto ziwa kuti. Ukuto da kujika. But you have been forced. Ne wedi rekumba. That wedi alone ukarikopa. Ukariti tanzi titi taka guta. Wanoto ziwa kuti urukura ambizu kwa kumba kwenye. But wewe unoda. Which means we must learn to personalize the word of God. Unofan wakutaura. Unu wakutaura kwa mwari. O personalizer sokoracho rova rako. Saka the personalizing of the word is the revelation for today. Why? Because whatever you are praying for God to bring into your life today. Hakuna muna angana azo times have moved. Even the richest man anon Solomon. Anga asina phone. He was phoneless. Solomon. Kana pa apa anga asina batike. Yet he was the richest. Even Motkara anga asina, even Kaonda Fita anga asina. Yet he was the richest of those days in those times. You got your prayer and ask Zimwengua, you don't want camels. Wanga waka puma na job, wanga wani ngamera, you don't want camels. You want something relevant in our time. Which means you must get the revelation according to the word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So, Panaba, the devil, he wants people to have Bible, Bible alone, and don't have the word that proceeds from the mouth of God. For he knows, you will cause confusion. That's why even the devil, but my temptations are three. One of the temptations, which is the second one, yet to quote scripture. Matthew 4, 5, the devil had to quote scripture. Kushika palevo, pokuti pa 6, at, if you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written. How can a written word be a temptation? Kana satana chiti, it is written, throw yourself from the top, for he said, you command his angels concerning you. Maybe some they don't know what Satan why caught up at. This is Psalms 91, verse 11 to 12. Temptation. Nipana Matthew chapter 4, verse 6. The devil was quoting Psalms 91, verse 11 and 12. Unuta yako kudera padombo. Ucha tumwa wa tumwa kutiwa kugame. Even the devil. Akadaku unza problem in the church. You, you. Use a man to preach without revelation and cause confusion and create temptation. Uruko ona ni satani pa barukuti kuna Jesus shetuka uye pas temptation yake tiruwa pa church. Kurat attack ku church i Bible is na revelation. Attack yese ina men of God concerning other church and other ministries 
he opens the way. Why not the devil pa temptations ake the second one akaenda na Jesu pa church pa temple pa msora akati shetuka kureva kuti people are going to fall in church because somebody will be preaching without revelation people will backslide people will be rebellious because of hearing a certain preacher who is motivated or used by the devil he can even open scriptures to make people fall people are falling in these days because somebody is preaching people are fighting in church these days people are rebellious in church these days because somebody is preaching he is opening the bible but he is not opened by the spirit of god to understand the bible that's why jesus art men shall not live by bread alone but by every word cloud bread right and the bread is the word but show kobedzi usina revelation it's not enough not by bread alone aurara mine bible chete unorara mane kunzwa zvarinoreva but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god so concerning this temptation the doubt unzwe mindro ya jesus but men men does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of god sa panoti bread unogona kupa dzima kana kuti kupa chinja oisa panoti word because bread jesus is the bread of life and jesus is the word kuti shoko bedzi usina mashoko ari kuda muna mwari to have a bible without the revelation of the scripture you are creating a temptation that's why the devil pa pa pa, pa, pa second temptation Ati, I want to use that Bible now to make you fall. Shetuka, for it is written. So every debate, every disaster in the body of Christ, Ulonzi kwa wana chiti, manja ano vura show kwa ha, wano wano muru isa hake, because hii ano vura, ano vura magwaru. You can open the word, the scriptures, while least you are not opened by the revelation, or by not hearing the word that proceeds from the mouth of God. There is chaos today in the body of Christ. Why? Because this temptation ya ka create kwa na devil in a scripture backing. The devil I want to attack the church at a level ya kuti I will use the same bible to make people fall. I will quote the bible. It is written. I don't know kana muchini zwe papa. So dabata the other side of the mystery concerning bible and revelation revelation is the word that proceeds from the mouth of god bread represents the word which is the bible but bible alone without revelation you cannot make it why because you need to personalize the word for you to have the blessing of the word you need to live according to the word Sakakura mu system yekuti mukaenda kunotamba kukabikwa kumba kwamaenda kunotamba kweshamwari yako ikati uyaimudze unofanwa kuramba uchiti takaguta haufanwa kuramba uchiti tanti titi takaguta why because by saying so uri ku expose amai vako ende uri kubuda pachena kuti nini nzara ndinayo but ndaiswa mu system ndi manikidza kuguta sai akaramba chikuti yaudzwe hauji anozoti anobudirira kuti uchadya why because you have not personalized the way Okay, I'll leave that on aside. So just yes, argue man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. The second dimension of the revelation, the word the bread here, let's take it as bread original chingwa chekujika. Why? Because he was hungry. The devil I and temptation ye kujika. So pana pa Jesus argue muna arara mene chingwa beds. Kura Jesus a sikuramba kuti pakurara makwe munhu panoda chingwa. The physical issues of life do not address for kuti neshokora mwari saka jesu hana kuti uh, bread is useless we don't need bread ah muna ara mune chingwa beds is vire kuti beds are reve kuti kwete man does not live by bread alone kureva kuti chingwa is part and parcel yekurara makwe munhu man does not live by bread alone what the equation yacho bread is involved but bread is not enough if 
you don't have the word of God in your life. But say the devil afunga kushandisa shingwa ni matombo. The devil is so cunning. Anu calculator. Why? Because bread shingwa chekujika shingwa resembles a blessing yaoneta partake in the physical. And you know what I'm a bread winner. I see you know we na chingwa enya you know aruku back sada wano ba life ne kudi ne I'm sure you understand statement ne kudi bread winner bread winner is somebody who is helping the family uh, is getting money many things resources and whatsoever ye yeah, bread winner saka pana apa sada ne party turn these stones to become bread ari kuti ndiri kuda a church is fighting the church kuti ndiri kuda church you know visa stone dombo yo isa chingwa. Yet order ripo mu kingdom ya mwari pano fano kunge pane relationship kuti baba wa kupechingwa give us today our daily bread watanga wati kudi our father who art in heaven foundation relationship and the foundation is Jesus so stone represents foundation bread represents a blessing or a physical need so the devil ari kuti ndiri kuda church Inongo da bed kugadzirisirwa ma physical need but ichipwanya relationship na mwari because dombo rino mirira foundation paoninga wakatsika saka chitakatsika mukama na mwari through Christ Jesus saka kana uri muna mwari foundation yako iri relationship you don't beg for bread you don't need a miracle to get bread it must become a lifestyle i'll give you an example I'll give an example in this way. Vaku state house vakanwa breakfast yakati simbei ine mazai ine nyama nechichi bacon ham and whatsoever. To them it's not a miracle, it's a lifestyle because vari muimba yehushe they are supplied those things as a benefit according to the first family. Ais miracle kuti vanwe tea iri heavy kudaro breakfast because they belong to the royal family jalari zvinoita kuti chinhu ichocho chive ordinary saka pano the devil bari kuti if you are the son of man turn these stones to become bread ari kuti pano fano a miracle kuti hudye yeti kuti hudye apadi a miracle why because if you are a son of god your father will give you bread give us today our daily bread so the devil ari kuti tuda kuti tichinje matombo ave chingwa akwake akusukuda kuti Jesu agute Satan chaari kuda ndete kuti ndiri kuda church isine ine kune relationship ine foundation ine dombo ukama na mwari but inongo ungana kuti yudzane pamusoro pe chingwa yet we must gather kuti titaurane pamusoro pe ukama wedu na mwari our relationship with God and bread becomes something as an incentive chinu chatino piwa as a privilege as part of the family but the devil ari kutai wa matombo ngave chingwa yet ukava ne dombo ukava ne foundation automatically bread you know a supply kwete a miracle relationship pachayo ine ma benefits ausinga wani outside the relationship Sa uri kona prodigal son ndo pa akaipotsa pa akadzoka kumba akadzokera chingwa akati baba msanti tore se mwana kuti i'm no longer interested in relationship but i just need to feed So the devil bari kuti chinja matombo chive chingwa ari kuti ah foundation muvaka akangwara akavaka imba padombo kuti kuti chiregera kuvaka upenyo wako muna mwari what you need chingo uya kuna mwari because you want a miracle concerning eating or bread and the devil pane zvozvo in our times do attack yakaita kuti when people gather ukaona pano pazara pane a promise of physical things which god can supply and give to people i believe so much but vanhu ngava ungane vachi build wa mu relationship because benefit in one come relationship ndiye kuti it becomes a lifestyle i'll give you an example vanhu pavanga vari murenje Mwari wakavapa chingwa as a miracle. Akavapa mvura padombo as a miracle. But pavanono pinda mu promised land. Chinaita kuti mwari under the leadership of Joshua 
Bible wrote and the manna stopped. Chakaita kuti supply yema miracles imire vanhu vapinda mu Canaan. Inyaya kuti vapinda mu promised land where they can live by principles and not by miracles. Where they will till the land, plant a seed and get the harvest. Chingwa chavaiji kamu range vachichu ona se miracle. Kana va mu mu Canaan it's no longer a miracle. It's something they can do on their own. Limitation iripo kana muri murenji. Unongo jipi wachingwa. But blessing irimo kana mamu kenan. Muka jigara witi kana maikowa. Jawa kwa muri kubeka maskon. Jawa kwa muri kuita makrim donut. Jawa kwa muri kujigama ban. But kana muri murenji kana mapi wachingwa. Ndicho ucho chingwa. But kana mamu kenan mane wit You make a decision. Maybe to bake a cake flower manayo, or to do something. Chamlinga mashuira. Why? Because you are now there. So, kana wamu relationship na mari, there are things that will come to you because of relationship, not because of hunger. I'll give you an example. Uka wana munga anasina kana buti yekupeka achifamba mrodi. Unopida mauri nite kushora kana kudaku ziwa kuti mwana wani. Wete kutano shanda kupimpa. Uroza hati palevo yake ashande. Eda hafani wakuju pekeza. Hafani mbereki. Hariku negleta. Ma responsibility yake pamsoro pe mwana. Kula uti kana wawa mwana wa mngari. Your problem becomes a problem to your father. You don't need to perform a miracle kutu wene bread. What you need is to ask for bread from the father. Give us today our daily bread. But the devil, amut, if you are the son of God, kula tu kasa ziva identity yako, na uti kana uri mwana wa mngari, baba wako wano supply bread to you. But kana usinga ziziwe, you need to perform a miracle to get this bread. So dombo represents foundation. Na uti mwaka kangwara aka waka pa dombo. And bread represents a physical blessing. Kuleva kuti you need your relationship with God. And whatever you desire in the physical, God is so faithful to supply to his own people. But the church now today, the devil is very happy. Why? Because the church now is gathered to turn stones into bread. You don't hear much about soul winning. You don't hear much about the relationship in Amari. You just hear the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, and the blessings. It's good. And it's real. Mari Unoropa Father. But the bigger part of the story is if you are related with him, if you are in a relationship, uri mwana wake, ya unofungi zila kutuma miracles, ahasi, it becomes natural, ndo nature yako, nda hati munu yoku state house, kujika chikafu chaka naka, ndo je ikoku, azizi zishamisu, hati muna karowati ne nyama, kana ne sausage, kana ne hemo, hati gara kana kubudiriro, kana kumfakos, jeshua haka waya kuchecha na wanatopa testimony, kutama zangu na asinda wana mwara chifamba ne tsoka, Ata jika shwa kwa umara aranasa Nda una denga rifamba Asika na ari at a certain level It becomes natural Unozora ya kuti Alright, I'll give you this example Unozora ya kipani shunu ya kuti Mwe muna hakavani chini icho ucho Anu kuna kusarara Bati kune wa nazo jijinji Banoto rara Wope kutobata but mumu nukungowa ne cheese mfiri jum. Amina numu kama how many times we see ope tsiri kubata. But kune wekuti they are used to such a life. Nukuti ope tsino to bata mfiri jum ne jum. Kune elevo in life yekutu kangoone embe ya kanaka. So unu tidae kwa edza nda peka. Kugweta elevo yekuti kana kuka edza. You are not moved much. Kutidae nda peka nda unye kwa. Because it's your lifestyle. Jino dadisa kunevamwe. Kunevamwe jini jokuti jiri ordinary, jiri natural. So kana wa a son of God. Apadi a miracle for you to get bread. It's your right. It's your privilege as a son. Because you belong to the family. So the devil, alikuti panenya and the if you don't know your identity, unona matira jume jino kuti jitike. Yetu kaziwa identity yako, you believe and trust kutu jino itika. 
if you are the son of God, turn these stones into bread. Brought to us as your identity, you You try to make things happen. But when you know your identity, you surrender to God who will make things happen. So the devil came to Jesus with a temptation of turning stone into bread. He knows the meaning of the stone. But it means foundation, relationship. So Jesus knows this. It is written, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Ukatarisa pama answers as a Jesu. Ane mindro inoti, iri yagafanana in three stages, it is written. Do not put the Lord God on test. It is written. Worship the Lord your God and save him only. Kuti Jesu. Parukita answer back to the devil. He is going back to the scripture. But pani challenge the panel now. Not even the devil ashika paruk kota o scripture. Because Jesu aruk answer back at it. It is written. It is written. The devil no vat. Okay, you know, farida by the hysteric jaganyorwa. No vat. It is written. Throw yourself down, for it is written. Yes, I know you pindura chitu kudi. Kana satan agu shandisa baibira chitu, it is written. Matthew chapter 4 verse 7, Jesus answered him, It is also written. For ya, now ya battle ye depth of knowledge. Kuratu ukavane knowledge, irishalo, iripam soro, ya, 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 isina kuti dzike, isiri deeper. Kunengo wangote, saka, sumo mshoko, saka ndizozo. But you need to go deeper in understanding. Satan cannot just throw yourself down, for it is written. Yes, ano pindra kutu di, kana satan ati it is written. Not in diri ni angu ni kanti it, jirimo, na yungo ta istoita jirimo. But yes, ano kutu, although it is written, wakota, Jesus answered as well. It is also written. Kurat ya bato ye depth of knowledge. May you acquire deeper knowledge concerning the things of God. Usave ne kuziva kuripa surface. Kuno ku create a temptation, yet it's a written statement. But you need to go deeper. Saka jesu ati kudi, kana satani ati it is written. Do pa yifano kupere de nyaya, jesu oto shetuka, no kutipa kotu wa scripture. But jesu anot, it is written also. It is written also. The battle of knowledge. The battle of knowledge. We, which means you must go deeper in getting the truth. Usango gumira pa kuta ha, jitori ima apaka nyoro wa soa pa, jitori ima apaka to nyoro wa nda kuita isozo. You can create a problem. You need to go deeper with every statement. Shoko rimweneri mweri neri no fukurira. You need to go deeper in getting knowledge. Somebody once came to me. So, ah, I was there to buy beer. Not Rambi, the good Wakats were parried. Not Rambi, the good Wakats were parried. Some they still believe that. And I'm a chicken to go on in the Vagatonam Kazaki parried. I want to Buddha onto the Ahmad Dimon. So, Karib Guma, religious. Yet, if you go deeper, Concerning Nyaeva cards, you will see. But for Waka Batiza Pukuta have a you have been missing the spiritual understanding of the thing. Why? Because by revelation, Mokadzi is a shadow picture of the church. So it's it's not the church, you know, pa the food or the message to the believers, but it is the Son of God. So men represent the Son. In the physical realm, Murume, the Manakoma, by a picture of the Murume, Church Mukadz. So, Church, I see you in a message, but the Son of God. So, uh, okay, I, I'll leave that aside. Let me go deeper this way. So, Gornushka Parnoti, Mukadz, Ganyarari, but I can't ask Kumba Anubunza Murume Waki. 
by simple reasoning unofanwa ku create a mvunzo bible scripture uka create a mvunzo ndo baonaita deeper in research and getting revelation revelation ino gona ku build kwa even usina give by asking a question concerning every statement in the bible ita mvunzo kuti na bible rati mukadza hapari dze nganyarari kana ari mchurch anozobvunza murume wake kumba ita mvunzo kuti ko kana asina kurohwa number 1 o kana akafirwa nemurume number 2 ukangoona ipapo mebudzo iyo uchisha mhindiro yacho which means there is a mystery behind that mukadzi nganyarare ngano bvunza murume wake kumba o kana asina murume wacho ko kana akafirwa kana aka divorce ko kana asina kubvira harorwa anonobvunza murume wani ukaona scripture yaita kuti vamwe vanhu vasa qualify pa kupateka the blessing i i reasoning yako ichiri natural because shoko ra mwari rino qualify someone wese ani nani hakuna wasinga kuti asaka asina murume zvazvi yafa kwake because shoko rakati vanonobvunza murume wao kumba saka asina murume yafa kwake hana kubvunza a uh-uh. there is neither jew greek male or female ndivyo iye murume pachake he is not meant to preach kana uchiti mukadzi haparidze even muruma haparidze but it is the spirit of god in man that ministers the spirit in agenda these are spiritual matters okay i will download this way inga wani nganga let me take it the picture in natural inga wani nganga nganga pachayo yechidzimai ikasvikirwa vanhu vanoti asekuru aine mazamu akatopfeka bra ane Zambia aine duku akashikirwa vanhu vanoti asekuru identity yabva kupi why because in the physical mukadzi but when you go deeper the spirit ya hapa ari now gives the identity of the person so munhu wese akava muna Kristo akava muna mwari through Jesus we lose our personal and natural identity we partake his identity i will show you this way kuti kuti muna mwari amuna a daughter of god why because we lose our identity vese vakamugamuchira akava pasimba rekuti vanzi vana vamwari chiringo kuti to become sons of god which means even a lady anotakura the identity of jesus and become a son so by spiritual identity there is neither male or female kana nganga ichidzimai chinza sekuru iyo ine mazamu inda vatisingapikise kuti aiwa hakuna sekuru ane a spiritual identity is more powerful than the physical ati namate munyama tinona mata mumweya haisi ishu ye flesh and blood it's a spiritual matter so identity it is spiritual because mwari ndi mweya anonamatwa mumweya Pese pa unodzoka kunyama you are losing the spiritual understanding mwari mweya vanomuna mata vanomuna mata mumweya so to the spiritual realm ambuya vanogona kunzi sekuru mukadzi anoita murume pa spiritual realm why because mwari wacho mweya anona matwa mumweya So pese pa unodzoka ku flesh pa chinhu chiri spiritual you miss the mark People of God hear me very well The devil attack yake yashika pa level yekuti anokota scripture Psalms 91 verse 11 and 12 Anodi throw yourself down if you are the son of man he said throw yourself down for it is written you will command his angels concerning you and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone kuti usarovere tsoka yako padombo acha tumangiro zidzi kugame and jesus answered him it is also written do not put the lord your god to the test it's the battle a depth of knowledge 
go deeper in getting knowledge of the kingdom. Why? Because knowledge yao ko ikawa show my ikawa dik. The devil can make you fall. Uri pa chechi. I temptation ya getiru wapa chechi. Wanzi pa msoro soro pe chechi. Yaka nisuwe tuka. Kuratu wa jinji. Awasuku fight wa wari kure. They are being fought in the church. And the satanic and I could up a church and go visa through the mouth of a preacher who lacks the deeper revelation of the scripture. Vanwa dona vanwa kuadu up a church. Vanwa backslide the very market. Vanwa rebellious concerning the things of God. And yet, what is rebellious without they are quoting scriptures? They are quoting scriptures. Aosa, akuna shi 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 no shi no di bata zaka nyanya. Yekuti muno ano rasika kushika palevo. Yekuti ano po ano 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 rivura. Aji tsigira era iri mari ano rivura. Whenever I talk much about this stuff, yekuti the devil aruda kudoni zaje super church. Aji it is written. Which are not a lot of people. Sometimes there is a challenge concerning these things. For example, this statement. First epistle of John, that's 1 John 2, 12. 1 John 2, 12. Shogori not. I write to you, dear children, because your sins have been forgiven on his name. Wano kwa wawuza kuti mkuna matamuari mune wa nawadiki. Kwete pazira. But spiritual maturity. Kune wa nawadiki. Anu kuzwa truly. Unari born again today. Ano fano kura mba chini wamu kaka kutakure mwana kwa zunu shokuna matu. Fala na apa tina problem kuchechi kutikune wa anawadiki. Number two, verse 18 now. I write to you fathers because you have known him who is from the beginning. Awachada. Ano vahamira chiti. Rinoti do not call anyone father because you have one father in heaven. Shokura mwari baibiri. Arina kunyore wa mwari. Itamba ya kanyore wa lanu. Vanu waka femiru wana mwe mchene waka nyora eleta for people to learn, to grow. Saka munu kamuza wati mkuna mata mune vana wadiki. Anu kuza wati icho kwa di mune vana. Because tawere nga kuti I write to you children. Kwa kana paka nzi I write to you fathers. Aliku nzi fathers ndiyani because pana e suru wati waka wanda na baba. Yet iro rato no gore kurishandi sarichiti. Do not call anyone father. Oh, naragani runs. I write to you fathers. Because you have known him. Who is from the beginning. Known him. Makamu ziwa. Arukunzi makamu ziwa wingi mngari. Wani warukunzi ma fathers. Warukunzi. Your level of knowledge. Makes you a father figure to others. Why? Because you have known. Known him. Muneka kumu ziwa kamu inako. Kale yote atumugo neku zizi sawo vana. Because mkuna mata mune vana. So mkuna mata kana mwine vana. Is a shadow picture. Yevanu wa sati wakura pa knowledge. Muna ana baba. Yevanu wakura pa kuziwa. Uka satenda kutukune vana waka kuzwa na mwari pa kuziwa. Ukudarika. Urukita era. Pese pa nesai ne kuti you lack wisdom. Is when you believe kuti you know everything. And no one can tell you anything. That's a sign you you lack wisdom concerning the things of the spirit. There are some people who have knowledge in it deeper than what you have. Kani nundo na matamaru wacho saka zinenge di nazo. Zakato siyana. I write to you children. Apa urambe. Enda kune wese anuramba. Kutikune wanu wanonzi anafada anababa mkuna mata. Wese anuramba. Batu kamuti kolana, anu kutu wana wariku. Ya wese mudiki pa kuna mata mwana. But ilo racho rati mwana, lora hakuti, I write to you fathers, ovataiwa, do not call anyone father. Ilo shogor noti, the Holy Ghost will teach you. Lord no varati food, some are teachers, some are evangelists, some are prophets. Yet Moyamu Chene is a teacher, but somebody is called by God to teach. Some are teachers. A five-fold ministry in a chekuita na teacher, prophet, evangelist, apostle, pastor. 
Ukamudza kune kune ma pastor anovuma. Ukamudza kuti kune ma evangelist anovuma. Ukamudza kuti kune ma prophets anovuma. Ukamuti kuna teacher anoti no one will teach you. The Holy Ghost will teach. Inya kuti knowledge yake idiki. That's why Satan agazira temptation in a scripture. Yekuti it is written. Jesu akunda achitu kudi. It is written again. The battle ye depth of knowledge. You need to go deeper in getting the understanding of the spirit. So kufura baibira kuna kuipa but kuri vura waka varika kuri dangerous. Kuri vura yo waka varika kuri dangerous. Why? Because even the devil akari vura achi create a temptation kwa te blessing. Pama temptation za atale renga ime temptation yacho ili based on scripture. Psalms 91.11 the devil said it is written Kurat pane imwe problem ino kona kukreate kwa ni scripture when you don't have a deeper knowledge. Yeah, I'm sure nika gumira ipa pa pa tumaita musha. Jiku siye une nzara. Baibu rangu runoti. Blessed are those who thirst and hunger. Uka kukona wii ne nzara so. It's a sign ye blessing. Uka daku zaoti blessing ya enda. Unuzikuwa kuguta kugutika na kutuzaita. Shokura mari every time rofa na kukusia une that anger. Ya uti I need more. I need to hear more. I need to research more. I need to get knowledge in a deeper. That anger is a sign. That anger is a sign. Ya uti ya blaze. I write to you fathers because you have known him. Awana kukita father as a creator. My fathers, because of the level of knowledge, you have known him. Where do you have created people? Ah, God is our only father. In terms of the Ndiya Akati Sika Ndiye Baba Wedu. But on earth there are people who are father figures concerning.